Mr. Speaker, I want to ask myself, the framers of the current constitution, if you read Article 1, sovereignty has been equated to representation. Who are these busybodies who want to disregard representation, Mr. Speaker, and rubbish the role of the elected members of parliament, Mr. Speaker? I have one message for you. We have seen the actions, the inactions, the activities, the inadvertence of these busybodies, whoever they are. Can you stand firm? Can you stand firm as members of parliament? It's not about the usual complaining, no. Can you stand firm, bring a constitutional amendment so that we entrench the NCDF in the constitution so that we remove it from the ambit of this gullible and vulnerable busybody, Mr. Speaker? Mr. Speaker, for how long shall we deny Kenyans the right to enjoy a piece of the national cake, Mr. Speaker? I'm shocked and dismayed, Mr. Speaker, to see a ruling, and ideally, Mr. Speaker, the role of the three arms of government, Mr. Speaker, is interdependent, is to support each other for the good of the well-being of Kenya, Mr. Speaker. But when you have a targeted approach, Mr. Speaker, to rub one arm, then doesn't add value. Mr. Speaker, finally, what I want to say is this. When the members of parliament are elected here, or those, the framers of the current constitution, Mr. Speaker, some of the functions have been devolved. After this, you will hear provisional administration is illegal because NCDF only covers education and national security. Are those two functions, Mr. Speaker, county functions? They are not county functions. These are national functions. So, colleagues, if you want to remain relevant, I know it's not the ambit of the members of parliament because we have, we have delinked NCDA from the member of parliament. It's completely an independent entity. That still is being pushed to the member of parliament. I beg you, if you want to remain relevant, if you want your conditions to develop, stand firm, wake up tomorrow, put your heads together, put this entity in tragedy in the constitution so that there is no room for any busybodies. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.